been feeling like, I've been feeling like, I've been feeling like I'm ready for the top. Got the pedal to the metal, I've been grinding non stop. Killing every instrumental, and I knew just what I wanted. Now I gotta go and get it, and I'm never looking back. Only looking where I'm headed, and I doubt it for a minute, trying to get another win. Well good, well, good morning, everybody. It's 12.30. We slept in, like, amazingly. We slept in until probably 11.30. The puppies sleep with me now. And because Marissa's gone, like, when she was, when she used to live here, the puppies would wake, like, make a move, and then she'd get up at 7.30 a.m., you know, disturb me and all that kind of shit. It was, like, brutal. So now I've got them trained, like, since they're with me. They just, they sleep right with me all the way to, like, today, 11.44, we woke up. Now, the tournament we're playing started at 11. Um, and it's a 30 minute kind of turbo-ish thing, which I already knew it wasn't gonna go on time because you know I got home at three o'clock. So you know, your sleep is of paramount importance. So the plan today, oh, I also wanted to say, I checked that hand from last night when I had the aces with the king five against king, king, jack six. I was a three to one favorite. <laughs> you can't get much better than that in PLO, I'm telling you. Run a bunch of sims and you'll see. Three to one is about as big as you'll find. Um, so yeah, so that's that. Now we're moving on to this no limit hold'em. Probably a good idea. I don't play many of them. Uh, it's important to get a little bit sharp for the main event. So we're gonna head in there. We're having a little breakfast here. I don't know if you can see that, but like, I know it looks like it's not a vegan breakfast, but it's actually, that's like a tofu scramble type deal. And then the other is like a, it's, like a, it's called benevolent bacon. It's like a vegan bacon type thing. It's real good. It tastes good. I've had people who are um, what you call meat eaters try it and they really, really did quite enjoy it. So. That's the plan for today. Um, late start, but you know, hey, that's what you do. When you play the three o'clock events and you go till two, three in the morning, it's kind of you know, insane to think that you're gonna like be ready to go at 11. So we're, uh, we're gonna get there as soon as we can. I got this soft setting, uncomfortable energy on my mind I've been at this seven years and watched family fall behind I'm losing touch with my people, I'm growing good with the bad I'm thinking less about others, should I reach out to my dad? He missed my whole childhood, who's really the victim? When I get rich, I'll fly him out and say the three-year-old missed him I never knew him as a man, and I ain't prepared to lie All right, they call them turbos for a reason Yep, how you doing, bud? Cheers. Thank you. They call them turbos for a reason, because the chips get in there. Blinds three and 600. I open to 1500 on a 22-6 stack with pocket jacks. The player to my left calls the 1500. Pierre Neuville from the small blind re-raises to 5100. Um, I could, you know, there's, you know, if we're much deeper, flatting seems reasonable. But um, in this situation, I think I have to pretty much get it in for the 22-6, which is 30-something uh, big blinds. Um, Pierre calls with the ace king and we lost the flip. Can you believe it? I lost the flip. Unreal. I'm shocked because, you know, <laughs> just fuck with you. Um, so now the plan is this. I'm supposed to do the, this podcast called Pardon My Take with uh, Barstool Guys and stuff. That was supposed to be at six o'clock on the dinner break. Um, well, there's not going to be a dinner break situation for me now. So I'm going to call them up, text them and see if they can do it earlier because I'd like to jump into the uh, $1,500 half no limit hold'em, half pot limit Omaha event which starts at three o'clock and it should be right around three o'clock right now. So uh, I'm gonna do a little, yeah, figuring out what's next, but uh, definitely gonna be playing that event at some point. All right, a little bit of an adjustment to the plan. Still working on trying to get the boys to do the podcast earlier, but in the meantime, I'm gonna head over to one of the suites here at the Rio and do uh, deep vibes with Dre Renee. If you guys don't know who Dre Renee is, she works with Poker Go, Poker Central. She's also Masseuse Du Jour and uh, yeah, you remember her, the one with the smile. Okay, so we're headed over there right now. What's up, y'all? Ooh, fancy, smancy up right? in here. Looky here, a little deep tish, deep issue, you can't even see. So here we are, gonna chat with Drea, hang with the people. We got snacks, oh, we got makeup. Say hi, Dre. Hey, I was like, oh, he'll text me back later. You're like, now, I'm like, ah! Now! Yeah, I got some right. free time. No. Let's do it. 
Okay, thank you. We got a close up. What's happening with these eyebrows right now? Oh my God! We're just please, drawing them in, I right? Die. <laughs> you know it. Work it out, baby. Like what? Yes, they draw them in now, Daniel. That's what people do. Do you right? have eyebrows though, right? I do, say. but they're a little Whoopi Goldberg esque. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie about it. Nothing wrong with a little Whoopi. I love Whoopi. I'm just saying, right? yeah. our eyebrows are twins, basically. Oh, alrighty, that went pretty good. Although Drea got personal because that's what those deep vibes is about, and she asked me some questions about, you know. Me, my, my, my newly single life and stuff, and maybe said a few things that were probably, you know, not as nice about her, so, oops, but, you know, hey. <laughs> oh, no. All right, so anyways, um, we are going to head down the elevators now, and we're going to go over to the media room. Uh, luckily for me, the Barstool guys, um, the, part, the part of my take guys, uh, have agreed to do it at 4.30, so we can uh, shoot out, we can do like a podcast, it should take about 20, 30 minutes. Take that to five o'clock. The break starts at five. So we'll, we'll probably get in for level three-ish, three or four of the $1,500 No Limit, Hot Limit Omaha mix. Hello, oh, Daniel. Hi, people. Is this where we're doing our thingy? Uh, oh, yeah. We're doing the thingy here. Yeah. Is this are you the doing, band? Are you vlogging? I'm vlogging. Vlogging. You're getting, getting you in the vlog there. Are you playing wow. the one drop? Am I in the one drop? Yeah. I busted it. A little one for one drop. No, I meant the real, the big one, the 100 million. You want a piece? Yeah, sure. I'll take it. You know, just come up with the rest, and I'll, I'll make it happen. You got nine hundred thousand. <laughs> yeah, nine hundred or so. Of course. Boy, you think I'm putting up a hundred? You crazy? I got play money. <laughs> I got play money on there. I'm gonna use my main event money for that. Yeah. All of it? No, all, yeah, all of it. This right here, the media room. It's not a place. It's not the season. Give me some space. It's not a maybe. It's not a high. It's so a what if they feel me now, me now. It's not a time. No. It's not a place. Okay, we are officially in this tournament. Look at this. I started with 7,500. Boom, been here 20 minutes. And we have a new addition to the table. Say hi to everybody, Lexi. Hi. Uh, full price. Are, hmm? I saw it when, I mean, I bought it when it was uh, 50 bucks. You want, you want, hey! What, what happened to the mustache? I, I went home to a wife. Oh, got it. You know, that's all you have to say. Here we go. So look at this. My ace is held twice in the PLO. And now we're doing big pimping style stack right now. That's big, big pimping pimpin over here. Big pimp. <laughs> that was my wolf football team name. Yeah. Still one, two. Right. Yeah, Frankie. It was. Okay. Really. Awesome table conversation here with these fine people. You just shared something interesting with everyone. What? That what happened a year and a half ago? When I went vegan. Yes. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> vegan from New York? <laughs> well, uh, whatever. Uh, uh, uh. Huh. Um, yes, I am a vegan and I am from New York. Very cool. <laughs> and I'm that? a female. <laughs> and you're a girl. Holy <laughs> smokes, all that stuff. This guy's ripped. He's 52 years old and ripped to shreds. He let me know. Keto. He does the keto, right? Kind of. Mostly keto. Right. No potatoes. No. He does no potatoes. No carbs. I'm trying to look into Vito, uh, Vito. Vito Keto? Vito. Vito. Vegan Keto? Vegan <laughs> Keto. <laughs> Is it a thing? I don't know, man. That would be, be something. And I think I'm going to brand it Vito. Vito. Vito Keto. Vito Keto. Vito Keto. Vito Keto. Alrighty. Let's do this. this absolutely nutty. Showed up here an hour and a half ago uh, for level five. Aces in Pot Limit Omaha, and we, we, we won that one. Aces and again in Pot Limit set, Omaha. And then, and then, and then I fought, I did flop a set, set against middle set All I hear is with the flush sets. draw. I have so many, that's I, I literally should, I have like 45K. That's, in there about that's James that. Dempsey, by the way. <laughs> so, no joke, I had uh, a bunch of big hands running like fire right now, and it's been fun too. Great table conversation. My table just broke, unfortunately. Um, but uh, yeah, feeling good. You know, I'm glad I took that little break. I, did, I actually napped in the trailer. A little, a little bit longer. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Yeah, so we're in the pavilion room, which as you can see, we're doing the regular hallway. Um, walking briskly. So we go make, well, oops, I was gonna, we were, we were gonna go uh, to the washroom. Che fa ciacolo? Bine? Romanian. What's up, y'all? How you doing? All right. So that's the, yeah, we're doing good. Four more levels to go. Um, might as well win this thing, right? Yeah, I know. Bink, bink. My vision ain't flawless, but I was raised by the radio when mom's Bronco was starting. Slim Shady DMX, 50 Cent and some Biggie. Got me through some dark times, I feel they went through it with me, I guess. To full circle, dad, the blame ain't directed in your direction. I never stopped and blamed some neglection. I blame nothing on the thing. Things happen so yeah, well. Somebody I in this tournament right here is doing some carb loading over here. 
We got pasta. Look at this bread right here. It's gigantic. Do a big look. That's all him. And beer. Perfect. Where do you put it, bro? Where do you even put it? How could you eat all that? Huh? It's not mine. Are you sure? It's right in front of you. Yours? It is. Okay. My goodness. <laughs> all right. I got another hand for you people. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Uh, this is a really interesting one. One of the tougher decisions I've had in a very, very long time in PLO. Well, not very, very long. But anyways, uh, cutoff opens to 1500 at blinds of 255. Um, the button calls, Brian Hastings. I defend the big blind um, with ace, jack of hearts, 6-8. The flop comes, jack, 6-7, rainbow. What's up, y'all? Uh, jack, 6-7, rainbow. No hearts. I check. Original razor bets 3K. Brian Hastings calls. It's too vulnerable to check raise here. You know, if you check raise here, you obviously could be beat by jack seven. And you know, your best case scenario if you get called is you're up against some sort of rapish type hand. It is a rainbow flop, which is good for me, but I like to play it a little more carefully. I felt like we're too deep to just get it in there. So I call. The turn is the king of diamonds. <clears throat> Puts backdoor diamonds out there. I check. The first razor just immediately says, bah! Bah! like that, right? So I'm like, holy smokes. Hastings folds, he bets pot, and he's got, he bet like 13,000, he's got like six or seven left, so I'm essentially committing myself against him. Now, what, what are we gonna put him on, right? My first instinct is, this guy has a monster draw. I have no diamonds in my hand, and um, I think he probably has a rap, flush draw, all that kind of stuff, maybe even a king with it, or like aces and something like that, like you could have aces and a flush draw, uh, which all these hands I do beat, right? Those are the ones I beat. However, he could, of course, have three kings, he could have king jack, he could have, King seven, there's like a whole bunch of hands that do beat me as well. So really tough decision as to where they want to go with it. I felt like because it's a tournament, it made more sense to um, just fold the hand, despite the fact that I still think I'm ahead of his range because a big part of that range is going to have a shit ton of outs against me anyway. So folded, he showed the queen 10, nine, eight with diamonds. So he had everything. Like, I mean, I'll, I'll run the math on it, but it was pretty close to 50, 50 any, I would imagine. So I feel good about the fold, despite, I thought about it for a really long time. And uh, in the end, I think in a tournament, it was the right decision. All right, in the trailer, couldn't wait to tell you, I did the math on it. And uh, his hand was 55% favorite, despite the fact that he had no pair on the turn. He had every straight card, every diamond to beat me. And he's 55, 45 favorite against Jackson Sixes. Who would have thunk? Okay, so the hand is still on the mind. A couple things I wanted to add. First of all, folding, I maintain a short, uh, an average stack, right? And so we see that he's 55, 45. And against his specific hand, we're getting the right price, right? Because it's like we're getting two to one. However, however, when we make the decision, we're looking at how do we, how, are we getting the right price against his range? And when you factor us in our best case scenario is we're 45% and our worst case scenario is we're dead, we're not getting the right price against his range. Because if he does have kings and jacks or a set of kings, um, or you know, even Jackson sevens, we're pretty uh, in pretty bad shape against those. So again, best case scenario, 45%. We have an average stack um, against the, and I'm gonna run a, actually a simulation later tonight when I go home, and I'm gonna run it against his entire range to just see like specifically um, what kind of price I would need there. That's how poker learning happens for a lot, for me and it has for many years. Run a hand that's really interesting, super cool, and then really break it down tonight or tomorrow or through the week and uh, really sort of like memorize that spot for the future. All right, we bagged, we tagged, we got 22.8, just lost. All right, congratulations. Okay, there's 123 players left from an original 707. We're paying 107, so tomorrow is going to start essentially on the bubble. Oops, just dropping. Thanks, bud. You bet. Appreciate it. Um, Hello. I was. Hey, what's up, man? I was doing. Uh, I was doing final day. The last hand I lost. Uh, 55. Seven. In yeah, bud. What's up? What's up? What's up? You know. That's what I lose. Seven. Nine K in the last pot. I think I played it fine. It was a little bit frustrating because the guy had the one hand that he could call. Yes. Okay, I was doing a vlog, but you, you can join me. It's yeah, fine. Cool. All right, where are you all from? Scotland. Scotland. I've heard of it, yeah. Okay, let's do picture time, and I'll finish that in a second. Ooh. 
What the heck? I'll just tell you oh, here. Please take a photograph. This might take a while. Um, let's see here. So anyway, well, I'll I wanted to tell people the hand, but I'm not going to tell people. It's well, Hans. Uh, this how's the hand breakdown thing? All right. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> the hands are terrible. Yeah. Hello, everybody in Daniel's I cashed you a little one for one job. Well, too. congratulations on that. And um, I was at a table with a guy called. All right. I'm as well. Wait, whoa, reverse. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, wait, where, where should I there go? There you up? go. That's good, man. Oh, right there. Oh, Come on, bro. <laughs> You're killing me. All right. See you guys. And you, you're just such, a, you're such an ambassador. Take care. Appreciate it. Oh, man. So, the hand was I had Ace Queen Jack 8 with the Ace of Spades. Um, Raised a small blind call, big blind called. Flop was ace, four, six, two spades. So I have the ace. Check to me, I bet quarter pot, small blind calls. Turns a king, so I have a gut shot. Um, I also think that I can get him off some straight draws and get him off some crappy two pair type hands. He checks up at 5,500. Thinks for a long time, calls. River's an eight, so I make aces and eights. He checks. I was going to bomb the spade, of course, with the ace of spades in my hand. He checks. I check back. He had ace king, so... Oh well, but you know, I think I, I like the way I played it. Anyways, that's all I got for y'all. Um, back tomorrow on the bubble. Hopefully we uh, run really good early and uh, make another deep run. Let's keep them rolling, you know? Bag and tag, cashy, cashy, bracelet, bracelet. Let's do that. It's not a city you want to be. It's not a man you It's not a high. It's a what if they ain't feeling me now. If I told y'all the things that was on my mind If I told y'all the things that was on my mind You go crazy, crazy, crazy